Hey everybody, Professor Doom here. I realize that my last video failed to put this in there about directed energy there at the Maui Amos site. And so a lot of people are wondering, well, what does the, uh, the Amos site detection have anything to do with directed energy? Here you go, right here. Directed energy, we have unprecedented power to direct energy in a way that serves, protects, and champions freedom. From powerful electromagnetics to electro optics, we're always exploring new ways to give our warfighters the upper hand. And uh, if you look, if you come down here and you look at the, uh, they even show you a directed energy weapon video. And here is the Air Force Maui Optical and Supercomputing AMOS site. That is not only a detection, but also directed energy site as well. Here it is. And s some other uh, questions that I failed to put up in the last video that I just put up was, you know, if you have Chinese satellites up there that are able to do everything that we're able to do as a country, the U.S., then why exactly would China need to send over spy balloons, such rudimentary balloons at that? And how did the United States, um, how did the U.S. government and the military uh, uh, come up with the answer so quickly that, well, these were Chinese? Why, did they have markings on the balloon that we were able to see? And, of course, I offered up the other question uh, that why didn't the Chinese, if it was a spy balloon, spy the same thing that you have drones that are spying, they have the same color as the sky, so they can't be detected. So I'm just wondering, what is the true story behind these balloons that were allegedly spotted up in the skies? Um, I don't know. I don't know the answers to those questions. But here is why some people are probably looking at this video that I just put up earlier and going, well, what does this have anything to do with directed energy? Here you go. There is the directed energy part of the website that I forgot to put in there for you guys to see it all. And you know what? In case you missed it, see right here, this is the read more section that I was reading to you all. And the Starfire optical range, freedom to maneuver in space. And if we click on the read more here, and you'll see to provide leadership in the area of space domain awareness, the Space Force conducts research and development and laser beacon adaptive optics, beam control, and space object identification. And this one here is, Here's what's interesting. We're talking about directed energy weapons and um, detection equipment. And the only two places, the only two, is Kirtland Air Force Base and Maui. And again, I am left with the question of why didn't the U.S. government have anything to say about those laser beams that were allegedly coming from the Chinese, and it was only scientists who go, yeah, we, we uh, the most likely candidate is the Chinese DACI-1. The U.S. government had nothing to say about a Chinese satellite beaming optics when that's, you're in the business of detecting man-made space objects, and you didn't detect these laser beams whatsoever. Um, you know what, if your very own government was behind those, uh, uh, laser beams in the first place, it makes sense for them not to have anything to say about it. And then the question then becomes, why did all of the infrared telescopes up on Mauna Kea and over in the country of Chile, uh, why were they cyber attacked? Um, all of those are very good questions and there's still many questions I'm sure to come about this whole, uh, August 8th event there in Maui. Thanks everybody. Um, well, you know, before I quit, I just want to see if, let's see, as part of, uh, AFRL's directed energy, 
Space Electro Optics Division, the Starfire Optical Range is a vital resource in achieving the Department of Air Force's mission to operate freely in space. This world-class research facility is located on the hilltop um, at Kirtland Air Force Base. And the other facility uh, like this kind right here in Maui, Hawaii. Very, very interesting. Thanks, everybody.